Good Thursday morning, April 4th, 2013. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room as a team of flight controllers once again looks over all of these systems aboard the International Space Stations, those systems operating in excellent shape aboard the uh, complex as uh, this team of flight controllers has been uh, on console since early this morning on about a nine hour shift that uh, uh, allows teams of flight controllers to overlap and support state uh, operations around the clock uh, here in Houston 24 hours a day. You're looking at the team uh, from the front corner of the room. The team uh, today once again is led by Flight Director Mike Lammers. He's uh, joined by David St. Jacques who is uh, serving as the communications link between this flight control team and the crew on board the International Space Station. Uh, that space station at 250 miles above the Earth's surface is uh, just about to track off the southern tip of Kamchatka as it begins a north um, a northeasterly to then southeasterly track across the Pacific Ocean into an orbital sunrise uh, in about 20 minutes midway across the Pacific from this vantage point. The uh, crew sees an orbital sunrise and sunset every uh, 45 minutes or so. 16 orbits a day make up the 24-hour orbital period of the International Space Station. <coughs> the uh, Expedition 35 crew aboard the complex comprised of six crew members, the commander of Expedition 35, Chris Hadfield, from the Canadian Space Agency, seated on the right of the logo in this view, standing behind him, his two colleagues, Roman Romanenko and Dr. Tom Marshburn, uh, arrived at the station aboard their Soyuz spacecraft back in mid-December. They uh, plan to return home uh, in the late evening of uh, Monday, May 13th. That's the current uh, targeted return home time for those three crew members. They uh, are enjoying their 105th day aboard the International Space Station, 107 days total in space. The three newest crew members uh, celebrating one week now aboard the International Space Station and also, of course, one week since their launch. That uh, three additional crew members of Expedition 35 uh, made up of uh, U.S. astronaut Chris Cassidy and Russian cosmonauts Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Mazurkin. Uh, those three uh, arrived at the station one week ago late at night on Thursday, March 28th. They plan to stay aboard the station until uh, around September 11th is the current targeted uh, return home time for those three crew members after uh, about five and a half months in space. The six uh, crew members uh, wake up about one o'clock in the morning central time each day and uh, that was no different today. Uh, they held their normal routine daily planning conference. It was very short this morning at uh, 2.30 shortly after they uh, uh, completed all of their morning uh, chores aboard the station and uh, they now headed off in uh, different directions to support all of the scientific investigations, the focus of which uh, for Chris Cassidy today is the burning and suppression of solids uh, experiment. Uh, he's essentially reviewing all of the procedures for the future work that he'll be doing uh, with that experiment. There's a number of other experiments, the binary colloids alloy test, uh, hardware setup activities uh, ongoing today aboard the station as well. The Russian uh, cosmonauts over in the Russian segment of the station have uh, continued to review uh, documents in preparation for a Russian-based spacewalk uh, scheduled uh, for mid-April. Uh, and uh, of course the crew members spend time with uh, all of their uh, normal activities, housekeeping chores and exercise routines uh, to maintain their ca cardiovascular and musculoskeletal systems for their uh, long duration stays in space. So life aboard the station uh, continues and here on the ground the teams have continued with the uh, activities associated with uh, continuing to activate the new co communications system on board the station. Today is day three of that uh, activity uh, which uh, essentially is continuing with some checkouts of some video um, cameras on board the station um, and of course sets the stage for the final installation of the um, communications uh, unit number one, which will occur a week from today on Thursday, um, next week, uh, April 11th. So that's the uh, day for the Expedition 35 crew aboard the International Space Station as uh, the station is uh, in excellent shape 
orbiting the Earth every 92 minutes.